Hey, it's Ben from the voiceover booth. I promised y'all I'd make a video showing my process for making these carbon fiber trailing edge pieces using fuel tubing. Uh, these, this isn't my technique, but works really well and it's fairly easy. And you don't need a whole lot. You do need some silicone fuel tubing in whatever size you need. It does come in several sizes. I forget what size this is, but it's kind of the normal size. You also need some kind of a form to put it on. I'm using a two piece a quarter inch MDF form that just sits on my table keeps it flat. That form makes both a rudder and an elevator half. Uh, I do it in two separate uh, tubing pieces. You can see all the parts laid out there. But really, whatever form you can figure out to make it work, uh, didn't really that matter that much. So using silicone tubing is important. The resin won't stick to the silicone, so it pops off the mold really easily, and your part will come out. Uh, to prep, I've got a guitar string a little, or any kind of really small wire with a hook bent into it that I pass through the tube. And then uh, I cut a doubled length of fishing line a little longer than the tubing. Then you push the tube, the string through the tubing, use a little hook to grab onto that doubled up line and pull it through, which will leave a loop of that fishing line sticking out of one end and the tail that you can pull through sticking out of the other end. Next thing to do, I've got the toes cut already. We'll talk about that in a bit, but I mix up the epoxy. I use West Systems epoxy for pretty much everything. This is 105 and 205. Doesn't take that long to do, so the 205 hardener gives me plenty of time. I usually use a, a taller cup. I'm using a shallow cup here because it helps me wet out the toe. I'm sure those of you that work on carbon fiber all the time have better ways to wet out toe, but I just use my fingers. And uh, I've been using a little syringe to squirt some resin into the tubing beforehand just to kind of make sure everybody gets a lot of resin on them. I stick a little bit in, maybe you know, two or three inches worth of the tubing gets filled up from the end we're going to start with. Now I'm using 3K toe here with 10 strands total seem to fill up the tubing the best. There's only five strands in my hand, but they're double length uh, because we're gonna have to loop it through the guitar string. Uh, 10 strands of 3K is 30K. You could use six strands of 5K or really whatever you have. And I just get one of my fingers wet and use my fingers to hold the toe under the resin while I pull it through. It's not pretty and it's really, really messy, but it gets the job done. It's also messy. So get all that wetted out. Hopefully you don't do like I did and mess up your strands, but they come back fairly easily. Get it all wet out and then somehow with your very slippery resin hands, go ahead and get it through that loop of guitar string or loop of fishing wire that you pulled through. It's much harder to do when your hands are slippery with an adhesive and you're on camera. Come on, Ben. You know, for an adhesive epoxy is awfully slippery whenever it's wet. There you go. So get that package of tow through the loop of guitar or through the loop of fishing line make sure your toes are pretty well even and pull it through i use a fairly even pressure not a whole lot i haven't had any problems with the toe tearing in this process and you're going to squeeze out some resin as you do it and that resin you squirted in is going to start dripping all over your floor just like it is there this is a messy process i've got my bench covered up i probably could have covered up some more but once you get it all pulled through, uh, pull the string out. You don't need that anymore. And then I'll wipe it down. That MDF mold hasn't been treated anyway. There's no wax or release or tape or anything on it. And while the tubing won't stick to it, it's best to just kind of minimize the amount of resin you've got out causing any kind of foolishness. I'll go ahead and fast forward the rest of this because it looks kind of like it just did, but with a much longer piece. Those are the five strands of double length toe for the rudder. Um, decided to try to make the rudder all in one piece. It worked out really easier than I thought. 
Uh, I thought it'd be harder to pull through because it was longer, but it really pulled through just as easily as anything else. Uh, wipe it up real good. I'll take a glove off and just trim the ends. The tubing won't stick, but those little tag ends coming out of the tubing certainly will. Uh, lay it down real good, pack it in, make sure it's set and flat, and I use some cans overnight to flatten it. Here we are the next day. Um, takes a little whack to get the mold out, but nothing too bad. Those little tag ends did stick, but MDF is really just glorified cardboard and it popped right off. Uh, in this one, this is the end of the molding, and so I'm cutting the tubing off. I also didn't want to try unmolding that rudder by pulling it. That's a lot of tubing. So what I'll do is I'll cut the tubing not all the way through, uh, just most of the way through. I don't want to nick the part. And then when I get to the end, I'll go ahead and cut all the way through. The ends are going to get cut off anyway, so if I nick it, it doesn't really matter. And then when I'm done with that, the tubing just peels off kind of magically. Here it comes. There you go. Like peeling a banana. But it's a rudder. And there you go. One molded carbon fiber rudder trailing edge. Uh, with the technique that I've been using, I haven't had any trouble with bubbles or voids or anything else. And this molding process has really turned out spectacularly straight, perfectly molded parts. Now, if you are wanting to reuse the tubing, you can do that too. I had a couple of elevator halves and a couple of these little rudder bottom pieces to use. Um, so the first thing to do is to trim off one of the little nubs at the end. They weren't in the tubing, so they're bigger than the tubing and they'll be harder to pull through. So I'll trim that off and then I'll grab some pliers to grab the other nub. There they are. A little twist of the tubing and some tugging and it comes right off. I ended up using one of those that elevator half tubing three times without any issues. I probably could use it a few more times. But this is a great way to make molded carbon fiber rod of any size you can get tubing for and any shape you could really make a mold for. Uh, really worked out well for me. Thanks for watching.